Revolution Peritals very kindly invited me up to Sheffield to film a project video with them. But first, let's nip into B&Q and get some supplies. You're right guys, I'm planning on making a dining table in this video. So I'm going to head into B&Q now, pick up some copper pipes and perhaps some scaffold boards as well for the top. So, and then we'll head back to the workshop and get it made. For the table, I picked up a couple of scaffold boards, some 22mm copper pipe. I also got some solder T-joints and some push-fit joints too. I've never worked with copper before, so I'm going to experiment a little bit with these. Some flux for the solder joints. I got some saddle clips to attach the table top to the base. And I also picked up some wood glue, tea foil and some dark wax. I'm going to start with the scaffold boards. I want a length of 1.3 metres for the top. So I cut the boards with the new Evolution Fury 3S motor saw. Two boards were more than enough for the top. I decided to make the top four boards wide. So I removed the metal ends to the boards and cleaned up the edges on the table saw. I cut a very thin strip off both sides of the boards to give the wood glue a smoother surface to adhere to. Then it's just a case of adding the glue to the edges and clamping the boards together. While the glue is drying I can get the copper pipe cut to length. The evolution saw makes it nice and easy to get all the pieces cut. Now all the sections of the pipe are cut to length it's just a case of popping them together. First I add flux to the ends ready for the solder T-joint to be pushed on. The base is made up of two rectangular leg assemblies. Two upright legs are joined together with T-joints and those are then joined to the cross stretchers also with T-joints. As you can see I first used the T-joint at the top of the leg but for the second leg assembly I used the push fit elbow joints instead. They looked a lot nicer I think. Once both assemblies were together I took them outside and added the centre stretchers to join them together. Again these are joined with T-joints. It's starting to look a little bit like a table now. I've never soldered copper pipe before so all this was new to me. I heated the joint with a blowtorch until I could see the solder had reached the end. I think I overheated the joints on the bottom of the leg style so I need some more practice there. I think I would have been a lot better using push fittings or even compression fittings instead. I've got another project in mind using copper pipe so I'll get some compression fittings next time I'm at p and I left the base a little while to cool down before bringing it back inside. With the base put together and the glue dry on the scaffold boards, I can get the top out of the clamps and start sanding. I want to keep the rustic look to the boards but just make them smooth to the touch. I also sanded down the high spots on the boards to make it more even. I rounded over the edges to give a worn look but also make it safer too, I don't want any sharp edges. There were some slight gaps in the top so I just added some wood glue and then the dust from sanding to fill them in. This is a really easy way to get rid of any gaps you might see. It can just be sanded smooth again when the glue's dry. There are a lot of different finishes I could have picked but to stick with a rustic reclaimed look I decided to use some oil. In this case teak oil. It will soak into the wood and help protect it but it will also allow the top to become worn and rustic looking over time. I've seen the technique of hitting the top with some metal chains or even keys to create little dents and give it an even more rustic look. There's loads you can do with this. The oil needs some time to soak into the wood so I can shift my attention back to the base. I noticed that it wasn't very stable due to my dodgy solder joints on the bottom so I added some push fit elbows and a couple of lengths of copper pipes to give it some more support. That helped a lot. Hindsight is a wonderful thing and I know now that I would have been a lot better to use push fittings or compression fittings. I think they're much easier for an average job to use. I'm going to use saddle clips to attach the top to the base. They simply sit over the copper pipe and then you can add a couple of screws into the wooden top. I added four clips on each end of the table. These will also allow the top to expand and contract with the change in moisture levels. At this point I didn't think the top looked rustic enough so I used the dark wax to try and achieve the desired look. This worked really well, the wax could get into all the little dents in the wood which gave it a real worn look. After the wax had sat on the surface for a while 
I buffed it to give it a nice luster and make it feel nice to the touch. And there is the table finished. I'm a big fan of the reclaimed rustic look and I think the copper pipe against the dark scaffold boards work really well. I can't wait to combine the two again. So that's it then guys. I'm really happy with how this turned out, especially for my first time using copper. I'm a little disappointed with how I was doing with my soldering on the joints. I wasn't too sure on how long to keep the gas there and stuff like that. But if you've got any tips for me, can you leave a comment down below? Just let me know what I was doing wrong. Or if you've got any tips, the different techniques I could have used to fix the pipes together. But all in all, I am quite happy with it. I'm going to experiment with some copper, some more, perhaps do some little tables and stuff like that. So hopefully next time I'll do a much better job. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment as always. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. I really hope you like the video.